Vesaka Bucha Day, an important day for the world. The appearance of each Buddha can be compared to the light of the sun that gives brightness to all beings. The Lord Buddha appears for the happiness of all human beings as well as other living beings. Visakha Bucha Day is the day of the Lord Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and attainment of complete Nibbana. It is the day when all devoted Buddhists recall the Lord Buddha's incomparable virtues and how he is our ideal role model in the pursuit of perfections. All living beings owe the Lord Buddha the greatest depth of gratitude. He had spent countless lifetimes pursuing his perfections so that he could eventually become enlightened on his own and could lead all beings, both human and celestial, to realize the Dhamma. As a Bodhisatta, he had pursued his ten perfections at all three levels by donating his wealth, his organs, as well as his life for countless times during the unimaginably long period of 20 asankhyas or incalculable eons and 100,000 gappas or eons. After his perfections were at the fullest extent, he was reborn as King Santusita and ruled over the Tusita realm. It was there that he waited for the right time to have his final rebirth. When the time was right, celestial beings, Brahma beings, and formless Brahma beings from 10,000 universes in the three realm spheres came together to beseech King Santusita to have his final rebirth in the human realm. King Santusita checked the five factors, which included the human world, the country, the lifespan of human beings at that time, the noblest social class that was considered to be born in, and the lady to be the mother to the Buddha. Having checked all five factors, our Bodhisatta saw that he would be reborn in the Jhumpu world in the centermost country during the time where the human lifespan was 100 years and to a royal family with Queen Silip Mahamaya as his mother. Having agreed to the request, he resolved to be reborn in the Chumpu world. His birth, 80 years before the Buddhist era at Lumpini Grove, between the kingdoms of Kapilavatstu and Devadaha, on the full moon day of the sixth lunar month, the physical form of the Lord Buddha appeared in the Champu world, or Earth. During Queen Silip Mahamaya's pregnancy, her elevated meditative attainments and her observation of the precepts enabled her to see our Bodhisatta clearly sitting in a half-lotus position in her womb, as though he was sitting outside. Queen Silip Mahamaya gave birth to our Bodhisatta in a standing position. He was born with his feet coming out first. As soon as his feet touched the ground, he could stand and walk immediately, which is a supernormal incident that rarely occurs. As our Bodhisatta stood up, after he was born, he made the pronouncement about the purpose of his birth as follows. I am the supreme being, the most advanced and the most sublime being in the world. This is my final rebirth. During our Bodhisattva's birth, there appear a great brightness that spread as far as 10,000 universes. There also appeared 32 miraculous signs. The great brightness pervaded the 10,000 universes, which is considered a rare supernormal event. When our Bodhisattva grew up, he saw the four divine signs as represented by the aged, 
the sick, the dead, and the monk. He was reminded that he had to choose monkhood because it was the best lifestyle to work towards the way out of suffering. He left the palace when he was 29 on the royal steed Gantaka to ordain by the river Niranjara. His enlightenment it took place on the full moon day of the sixth lunar month. After having practiced perseverance for six long years, finally, one day, beneath the Bodhi tree, our Bodhisatta sat in a half lotus position. Although lightning struck a hundred times, he was not at all distracted. On the contrary, he vowed that my blood and flesh can dry up, leaving only skin, tendons, and bones. As long as I cannot attain enlightenment as the Buddha, I shall not leave this seat, but will continue to sit in meditation until the most elevated meditative attainments can be achieved. Our Bodhisattva's determination caused the evil Mara chief and the Mara spirit to stir. The evil Mara chief took over King Vasubhati's body and forced him to be the celestial Mara and to perform his evil work for him along with the Mara troops. Our Bodhisattva was not in the least perturbed. However, the evil Mara chief tried to threaten him. He continued to keep his mind still and quiet and finally defeated the evil Mara chief as a result of his perfections, which had been pursued to the fullest extent after countless lifetimes. The Mara troops became frightened and were fearful of the perfect man's power of merit. They eventually dispersed and left him alone. The perfect man considered the twelve parts of the law of causation. He considered them both forward and backward the 10,000 universes tremble 12 times and the vibration reached as far as the subterranean water. He became enlightened as the Lord Buddha at dawn the next day. After attaining enlightenment, the Lord Buddha, with his deep compassion, taught his enlightened knowledge to all beings so that they too could realize the Dhamma. For the long period of 45 years, he had trekked far and wide to spread the teachings tirelessly and had helped a huge number of beings to realize the Dhamma and attain the different stages of purity. The Lord Buddha attained complete Nibbana when he was 80 years old. Attaining complete Nibbana on the full moon day of the sixth lunar month one year before the Buddhist era, at the Salavan Forest of Gusitnara Kingdom, our Lord Buddha attained complete Nibbana. His physical body expired, and only the Dhamma body remained, which was the Lord Buddha's Dhammagaya. It was the Dhammagaya that entered Nibbana. Before his body expired, the Lord Buddha graciously gave his final advice to the Buddhist communities. The body is changeable and undergoes decay as a normal process. Therefore, you must make sure not to be reckless. This is the abbreviated version of our Lord Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and attainment of complete Nibbana. Our Lord Buddha is our best role model he has been the world's greatest teacher throughout the past and the present. Therefore, every full moon on the 15th of the 6th lunar month, which is also called Visakha Bunatnami Day, is the day of the Lord Buddha's birth, enlightenment, and attainment of complete Nibbana. There had yet to be any religious leader in the world whose birth, enlightenment, and physical expiration happened on the exact same day the way they did with our Lord Buddha. The United Nations called this auspicious day a universally important day of the United Nations 
or an important day of the world. Therefore, Visakha Busha Day is the day that the Buddhist communities should invite everyone in the world to think about the Lord Buddha and his pursuit of perfections, to come and study the Dhamma, because Dhamma can serve as our guiding light in this life and later it can lead us to the celestial realm and Nibbana. We should come together to practice meditation and endeavor to attain the Dhammagaya within us.